once again, and I'm glad you decided to join me for this tonight's A Moment to Pause Along Life's Trail. Tonight we're going to be talking about including the Great Spirit in your daily plans. Let's go to Proverbs 2130, and this is from the uh, New Century Version again, and I guess by now you can tell that I'm reading the uh, New Century Version, which uh, is a pretty good thing. I can remember many years ago when I was younger, if somebody wanted me to read a different Bible or a, a different translation of the Bible, I would not do it at all. I know it's wrong. The only one you can read is uh, King James. But over time, I have decided that uh, uh, you need to read other versions of the Bible. This is written more in uh, the way that we talk now uh, rather than uh, uh, Old English or whatever uh, King James Version is written in. But anyway, uh, it's a good thing to uh, read other versions of the Bible from time to time. After I've got that said, let me get on with what I was going to talk about tonight. Now, does the Great Spirit have a plan for your life? You better know he does. Every day of your life, he is trying to lead you along a path he has already chosen for you. But he won't force you to follow it. He gave you a thing called free will. Free will is the opportunity to make decisions for yourself. The choice is yours. Either you choose to obey him and his will, or you choose to follow a different path. Or a different trail, as we cowboys like to say. Today, as you find a few quiet moments to communicate with him, ask him to renew your sense of purpose. His plan for your life may be much bigger than you ever imagined, but he not, might just be waiting for you to make the first move. So make that move. Do it prayerfully, do it faithfully, and do it expectantly. And after you make your move, be ready. The Great Spirit will certainly make his. The one supreme business of life is to find God's plan for your life and live it. May the Great Spirit always walk close to you in your circle of life. And tonight as we close, I've got a little something extra that I want to do. Uh, I have mentioned many times that uh, I enjoyed Robert, Shirley, Robert Shuler every Sunday morning and always watched his sermons on TV. And uh, one thing that was kind of different about him, and uh, he, he got a large congregation out in California a lot of movie stars. I remember him telling about all the movie stars that used to come to his church because he had a drive-in uh, auditorium or whatever you want to call it. It was a, a drive-in church. And uh, I'll show you this picture of it uh, real quick. And now in closing until next time, my wish for you is from Robert Schuller. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may God give you his peace in your going out and in your coming in, in your lying down and in your rising up, in your labor and in your leisure, in your laughter and in your tears, until you come to stand before Jesus in that day in which there is no sunset and no dawning. Amen.